Microsoft HoloLens is the first fully self-contained holographic computer to run Windows 10. Now with the introduction of HoloLens 2, every HoloLens device provides commercial-ready management capabilities that are enhanced by the reliability, security, and scalability of cloud and AI services from Microsoft. On that note, let's check out Microsoft's HoloLens, what you don't know. Number 10. What's HoloLens? Microsoft HoloLens is an untethered holographic computer. It refines the holographic computing journey started by the first generation of HoloLens to provide a more comfortable and immersive experience paired with more options for collaborating in mixed reality. HoloLens 2 runs on the Windows Holographic OS, which is based on a flavor of Windows 10 that provides users, admins, and developers with a robust, performant, and secure platform. HoloLens, Microsoft's holographic augmented reality headset or mixed reality if you're being picky, took everyone by surprise when it was unveiled at a Windows 10 event at the beginning of 2015. The HoloLens headset, a bold piece of hardware, it was also the first sign that Microsoft was taking AR and VR seriously, with the second sign being its line of lower-end Windows mixed reality headsets. However, it also comes with a bold price, $3,000. Now, whether you bought the development edition in March of 2016 or grabbed the version opened up to anyone with a Microsoft account a couple months later, that bold price stayed bold. Surprisingly, the development edition of the HoloLens comes with plenty of software consumers can actually use, and the device is accessible enough that you don't need to be a developer to work with it. Once you get used to the limited field of vision of the holograms and master the somewhat awkward bloom and air tap gestures required to control it, there is definitely some fun to be had right out of the box. Number 9. Depth Camera Part of the HoloLens magic is the depth camera. It works like a smaller version of the Kinect camera on Xbox, but it uses one-tenth of the power and has a field of view equivalent to a 15-inch screen from two feet away. The depth camera is what HoloLens uses to see and understand your environment, so they can figure out where your desk is, which hand you're holding out for gestures, and help track your head movements with help from other sensors on the device. Number 8. Cover Your Walls With Web Pages the HoloLens can run some normal Windows 10 apps, displaying them as glowing windows floating in the air. Microsoft Edge comes installed on the HoloLens Development Edition, so you can just open up a bunch of different web browser windows and scatter them around the room. They automatically snap to walls if the HoloLens detects them, and you can manually place and resize them anywhere around you where they will remain. Number 7. Voice-Enabled and Motion Tracking the HoloLens is controlled by gestures, voice, and a small clicker controller to make things a little more varied. The only physical controls on the device are the power switch, a volume button, and contrast controls for the holographic lenses. Built-in voice commands allows you to quickly navigate and operate HoloLens 2 when your hands are occupied with a task. You can also enjoy a new level of context and human understanding. HoloLens 2 understands precisely where you're looking so it can understand your intent and adapt the holograms to your eyes in real time. And the best part is you can touch, grasp, and move holograms in ways that feel natural. HoloLens 2 adapts to your hands for a newfound satisfaction in your interactions. You can move freely with no wires or external packs to get your way on the job and expand your holographic canvas with high resolution, large field of view displays. Number 6. Hologram this is where HoloLens gets really exciting, because what you see through the lenses isn't a simple transparent version of your smartphone interface like Google Glass. Microsoft is going full AR with virtual 3D models of objects that can either appear as part of your real surroundings or combine with reality to make up a completely new one. These aren't holograms in the traditional sci-fi sense of projected, glowing 3D avatars, but there are a number of similarities. For starters, Microsoft is working on a feature it calls pinning, which allows the HoloLens wearer to lock a hologram in place and then move it around to view it from different angles, which makes that object feel like a real part of your environment. Thanks to a lack of wires, a big advantage over, say, an Oculus Rift, the HoloLens is truly portable, so being able to walk around a virtual object becomes possible. Microsoft wants developers to create new apps, games, and experiences for HoloLens using its mixed reality platform. To do that, you're going to have to tie into Windows 10, which will make it easier for developers to get on board. So no, it's not totally an attempt to get Windows 10 back in front of our vision. Number 5. Video Call on Skype and Share Holographic Vision Skype is already available on the HoloLens and it's pretty fun. Video calls appear as floating windows in front of you, like vid windows from Reboot. Since the HoloLens doesn't have any cameras pointing at you, your video feed instead shows whoever you're talking to on your own view complete with any holograms you've set up around the room. Number 4. The Sound Effect 
A big focus of VR companies such as Oculus VR has been on the audio, as this can make the difference between creating a truly immersive environment and leaving wearers cold. Since the HoloLens is AR, not VR, there's less of an obsession with tricking your mind into believing it's somewhere it's not. But sound is still part of the package. As we said, the speakers sit above your ears and will deliver spatial audio. This means that in-app or in-game audio will come from different directions based on where you are in relation to the virtual object making the sound. Just like, you know, real life. Number 3. The Lenses Blending virtual models, environments, and holograms with, well, reality means that the lenses are transparent, similar to those found in Google Glass as well as rival smart glasses and goggles from Sony and others. There are two, one for each eye, and they are made up of three layers of glass, blue, green, and red. A light engine above the lenses projects light into the headset and tiny corrugated grooves in each layer of glass diffract these light particles, making them bounce around and helping to trick your eyes into perceiving virtual objects at virtual distances. Number 2. Real-Time Applications If you have a big empty room and want to decorate it, the free Hollow Planner app lets you see what it will look like before you do any heavy lifting. Hollow Planner is a very limited demo that lets you place cabinets, chairs, desks, shelves, and tables around any room. There are only a few dozen very simple pieces of furniture to choose from, but you can at least see what a cabinet will look like in an empty corner. It's a fun glance at the future of home decor and shows how furniture and home improvement companies can use the HoloLens in the future. Number 1. Apps and Games So, the tech is here and it feels like the future, but what can you actually do with a HoloLens headset? Microsoft showcases a small selection of the nearly 150 HoloLens apps on its website, which includes the likes of Skype and other interesting games and experiences. Two of the newest experiences are HoloGuide and HoloHere. HoloGuide will, well, guide you through low visibility areas while HoloHear can instantly translate speech into sign language for deaf people. There's also Tiamurn, which can overlay prompts and instructions on a real piano to help turn you into Beethoven. There are plenty more too. Holo Studio lets you create holograms and turn them into 3D objects using a 3D printer. Actiongram Beta uses holograms to tell stories, and Robo Raid is a mixed reality first person shooter that uses gestures and gaze to fire at the enemy. Microsoft has also announced that HoloLens will be compatible with all universal Windows 10 apps including OneDrive, Maps, Remote Desktop, Groove Music, and Microsoft Office apps. But it's here where things get really interesting. If it doesn't get more legit than NASA wanting to play one of the first demos, Microsoft was pushing no less or walking about on the surface of Mars. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory will view images captured by the Curiosity rover through HoloLens headsets in order to work as if they're really there on the red planet. It just cannot get any better than this. So, what do you think? What do you make of Microsoft's HoloLens? How much are you looking forward to it? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as we enjoyed bringing it for you. See you next time and goodbye.